Hey ladies, it's Amanda and I'm here to talk to you about something that's super important to all of you. It's closing time! Woo woo! Congratulations, you've made it through your first year, your second year, your third year, and for those lucky few, you've made it all the way through college. So congratulations on graduating, if that's for you. Um, but I'm just going to hit you with a few, a few high notes of those of you who came to your floor meetings. Yay! And for those of you who didn't, you're about to learn what you missed. Okay, so first, you need to sign up for a checkout time on one of these handy dandy sheets that are outside your RA store. If there's no time on the RA store on your RA store that works, go sign up for another uh, time on a different RA sign up sheet that is available to you. All right, there we go. You need to sign up for a checkout time 24 hours before you're planning on checking out. Because if you don't, and then you keep your RA waiting, you could be charged an improper checkout fee of $50, which sucks. So nobody wants that, so make sure you sign up 24 hours in advance. Another point is you have to be moved out of your room 24 hours after your last final. If there is an extenuating circumstance that you need to stay after that time, you need to email me and housing ASAP about it because they have to approve those stays because your ID is going to quit working and so there's a lot of stuff that goes into making sure you stay after the day after your last final. All right, checkout procedures. You need to make sure you have moved everything out of your room before you check out because we need to come in and assess damages and um, anything that's wrong with the room and we can't do that if all your stuff's in there. You need to clean up your mess because Otherwise, you're going to get charged for cleaning, and nobody wants that, so clean up your mess, girls. Um, take the trash out and make sure you defrost and clean your refrigerator, and then we'll come in and we'll check you out. I'm also going to let you know that if you move out before your roommate and there are charges that can be argued between the two, you can be charged after the fact. So make sure you and your roommate have discussed everything, so if there are charges that could be charged between the two of you, we know that. Alright, if you have any questions about any of this... Find an RA, or you can come talk to me. You can email me. There are many avenues for you to get in touch with one of us so that we can help you if you have any questions. No question is a dumb question because we would rather have you ask questions than charge you for something that could have easily been fixed. Another thing you should know, this is exam week, and a lot of you are taking exams. I'm taking exams. You're taking exams. We're all taking exams. So therefore, we are in 24-hour quad hours. If you violate quad hours, I will come and meet you right at your door and we will discuss it right then and there. I don't care what time it is, okay? So make sure you're being quiet, except for when, um, between the hours at 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. We're gonna have a loud hour, but still it's not like you can't go out and throw a block party in your hallway. Just make sure you're being very respectful of those girls that are around you who are studying for finals. I just wanted to make sure y'all were informed about all this and now you can't say it because you either had a floor meeting or you've gotten this email from me letting you know what's up. And on the other end of that, girls, y'all have really made this a great year for all of us. I'm sure the RA staff would be completely behind me in saying that we've absolutely loved getting to live with you this year um, and getting to share this experience with y'all. For those of you who are going to be living in housing with us next year, that's awesome for those of you who have taken that step and are moving off campus or in your sorority house or you're transferring um great for you that you're doing what you want to do um if you've got any questions like i said hit me up hit your ra up let us know no question is a dumb question i promise um but again thanks for everything girls see y'all